And good evening, everybody. My name is Scott Jordan, and you are watching live here at Sellers of Sonoma in beautiful Railroad Square, Santa Rosa, California. Surprise, not everything lasts. I've broken my heart so many times I stopped keeping track. Talk myself in, I talk myself out. I get all worked up, then I let myself down. I tried so very hard not to lose it. I came up with a million excuses. I thought I thought of every possibility. So much more than I get I just haven't met you yet And good evening everybody and welcome to TV Tuesday Live That's right, you're watching this live From Santa Rosa, California Here in our tasting room at, at 133 4th Street In beautiful Santa Rosa, California Those of you tuning in for the very first time We're located uh, about 55 miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge, right along the 101 corridor. Simple to get to, just take the downtown exit in Santa Rosa, go to 4th Street, you're right there. Um, we're a collective of nine small production wineries, and uh, we do a show each week called TV Tuesday Live, uh, which you're watching right now, where I uh, share with you some uh, beautiful wines from our winemakers here. Uh, we uh, also uh, interview um, rock stars in the wine and food industry and chefs, and, and uh, we had a chef last week, and uh, uh, that was very fun. And uh, we've got some great stuff coming up, which I'll tell you on the calendar. Uh, tonight, what I wanted to do, it has been three busy, busy weekends uh, for us here in wine country. We have been doing barrel tasting. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun tonight to uh, go over the wines that we had over the last three weeks in the tasting room, actual barrel samples of some of the wines uh, from our producers. And so um, I've, I had a couple samples left, and I thought it'd be kind of fun uh, to taste these barrel samples, talk about uh, the wine as it is now, what it's going to evolve into, and uh, the release point, the point at which uh, we'll actually release these wines. Um, normally we get a good bottle shot, but if you look here, you can see uh, it's just what we call a shiner. Um, a shiner is just, uh, in this case, it's actually a lab bottle because it has a, a screw cap on the top. But shiners are, are simply unmarked bottles they use uh, in the lab for uh, sampling and testing and so forth. Um, this is a wine, uh, a new wine for Bono. It's a 2009. This is a uh, Merlot. The fruit comes from an Appalachian uh, Oak Knoll over in Napa. Uh, very, very nice uh, Appalachian over there. The fruit is magnificent, and it makes these, these beautiful, rich wines. And... Um, it's kind of fun, though, when you're talking about barrel samples, you're talking about an early look at the wine. Um, this is Merlot 2009. Um, I would suspect that you probably have, oh, I would imagine maybe another five or six months left to age this wine. Uh, but it gives you a, a great idea as to uh, what the wine is like now and what it might be like in the future. Mm. Big puckery wine right now. Um, oh, it's so young, but um, you can tell that the wine is going to be very, very soft. Um, this particular wine, the 2009 Napa Merlot by Bono Wines, um, that's going to retail at $3.96 a case. And over the last three weeks, we were selling futures. So what we mean in futures is it gives you an opportunity to buy the wine now before it's released, but at a very deep discount. For example, that $396 case, you could buy that for $264. So um, 
Uh, that makes that makes it a really great buy, about 30% discount. And uh, uh, in a couple of months, they'll bottle this, and then we'll release that wine uh, to our future uh, purchasers. So uh, if you decide that you want a futures, uh, call the tasting room, 707-578-1826. They'll take your order uh, for this wine and give you the deal price. On it. But I thought I'd introduce the wines that we had uh, this weekend because we had a lot of fun with the barrel samples. So there's Merlot, uh, a new wine for uh, Bono, and uh, he keeps banging them out. These wines are fantastic, and uh, this is another great example of why you want to come into Cellars of Sonoma, and uh, you get to taste things like the barrel sample. Um, so that was Merlot. The second wine we're going to look at is uh, also from uh, Bono Wines, and uh, this is Zinfandel, Dry Creek Valley. Dry Creek Valley is about, oh, I want to say 12 or 14 miles north of our location here. Uh, right when you get into the town of Healdsburg, you're really into the Dry Creek Valley. Um, this is an 09, probably doesn't have uh, too much longer to age. Um, you, can, you can really get an idea of, of how nice that fruit is. You're getting a little peppery. Uh, hint in the nose, and uh, uh, very obvious that that's Zinfandel. Hmm. Still young, but nice. Nice, clean mouthfeel. Um, this is going to release uh, at the same price as the uh, Merlot, 396. And the futures price is 264 a case, uh, so great savings on a wine like that. And uh, uh, everything we've seen from the Dry Creek Valley from Bono uh, wines uh, has been spectacular. So uh, we're looking forward to that, that being the 09 vintage. Uh, we'll get some looks at the uh, 2010 coming up pretty soon as well. Um, I want you to uh, get your calendar out. We've got some things coming up um, in the next couple of months. It's going to get pretty busy around here. Um, I am very fortunate on Friday, I'm flying to spring training in Arizona with my three boys. Uh, we're going to watch the Giants play, and we're going to be in the sun and having a great time. But right after that, start next, next week, actually, it'll be uh, April coming up where we've got a ton of events. So I want to make sure your calendar's set. Um, so uh, we're going we're gonna to take a, a little uh, break from the broadcast. You'll be able to watch this live. We're just going to shut the, uh, the record off. And uh, I'm going to ask a question. And then I'm going to answer it on the other side of the break. And then we'll talk more about the Zinfandel and some of the events. So let me throw today's question out. Uh, which of the following likely describes a wine made from Zinfandel grapes? Uh, citrusy with apple and pear aromas? Berries, jammy, spicy? Uh, some hints. Grassy, oaky, cedar, or dry, high tannins, and then a little peachy. So which A, B, C, L, or D would be the answer to uh, a Zinfandel grape? And we'll answer that on the backside of the break. This is Scott Jordan. You're watching live here at Cellars of Sonoma. We'll be right back. 